hi everyone hi everyone please do give a like a comment a share a subscribe i'm going to try and make a lot more videos but please help me grow the channel as well thank you so next this is just a trick i'm going to show you guys on how to make a table from another table right in the exam you're probably going to be given um, the a4 piece of paper the exam paper with some information on there in a single table now it might make a lot of sense for you to put all of that data quickly five ten minutes type all of that into your database into your rows and columns to fill it in so you can just test a few things later on what i'm going to show you rather than creating four separate tables for example one for um, customer tickets patient whatever the case is you can create all those tables from one table and it only takes a few minutes so you don't have to type all of that information out again and again and again now this video here which i'll paste in the description of my video shows you how to do it as well i'm going to show the entire process of how this is done just so you guys see if it's going to be useful for you or not let me change my location to desktop because i'll probably delete this afterwards all right i'm going to go create now i'm going to go to design view now the entire purpose of this is so that you can create other tables from one big table that you might have i'm just going to call this test right i'm going to call um, that one id sure this one can be name so that's going to be customer name uh, i need to choose a data type of course this one could be i don't know uh, date of birth d-o-b uh, this one can be date and time this one can be let's just call this one ticket uh, price just so we have a currency one uh, we can have ticket type ticket type and let's have this one as a drop down list look up wizard i want to type the values um, cheap and expensive that's it those are the two types of tickets that we have limit to list 100 percent um that should be enough to be fair let's just do another random one uh name date of birth this is just to age for example right now i'm going to just randomly put some data in this table here save it go back to view um name bob date of birth i need about three different things just cut this let's make this 10 pounds let's make this one ticket type cheap age 10 person b date of birth whatever that date is let's make this 100 pounds let's make this one expensive age this person is 100 as well and let's just create one more now this will work for any amount of data that you do have let's just fill this in randomly this really doesn't matter that much let's call this one 50 this one can be cheap a person can be i don't know five right so now we have a single table now, how do I create other tables from this? Now, in the exam, this is probably going to have 10, 20, 30 records, right? You're going to spend, I would say, about 15 minutes writing out all that stuff if you do want to test your stuff later on. But you don't want to do that for the first table, maybe customer. You don't want to do that for the ticket type table. You have to keep typing everything out again. That's very long-winded and it's not very efficient. So next, I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to query design. Uh, my table is not showing. So what you can do is select the table from the right hand side. It's going to have all the tables here and do add selected tables. And from this, I'm going to only want, let's say, ID and date of birth. Those two things are relatively unique. Now, that's all I want in my query. I want all the information to come up. So I'm not going to put anything into criteria. When I run my query, it's going to actually give me the results I want. I am now going to try and close this. It's going to ask me if I want to save it. I'm going to select yes. I'm going to call this table one, for example, right? And as you can see on the left here, table one under queries has been created. Now, how do I make this into a table? Let me just do another one just to show you guys how this would work. Again, I'm going to go to create. I'm going to go to query design. And this time, I'm going to want two things I don't have before. Um, so maybe name, randomly, age, ticket type, okay? I'm going to run that query. It's going to come up with another query thing here. I'm going to try and close this one. It's going to ask me if I want to save it. I'm going to choose yes and enter the name, table, uh, table two. 
click OK. Now, as you can see, I've got two table one and table two under queries. Now, how do I make these queries into actual tables? It's a good way to back up your information, a good way to quickly create other tables from another table. Right click, go to design view. And from here, all you have to do is click on where it says make table. When I do make table, it's going to ask me the name I want for the table. I mean, this could be, let's say, TBL customer. That could be TBL customer. I'm going to want it in my current database. If you have another database somewhere which you want to save it in, you just choose that one and browse for the database. Ideally, you're going to want it in the same one so that you can continue working from this. And it's always a good idea before you do something you're not too sure about, close your database down fully, make a copy of it, and then continue working from the copy so you can always go back to the original. I'm going to go OK. After that, I simply click Run, click Yes. And as you can see, I have another table created called, oh, sorry, called TBL customer. I'm going to do that one more time for the other one. I used table one before, so now I'm going to use table two. I'm going to right click, go to design view. I am going to click make table. This comes up. Let's call this one TBL ticket. I mean, it's not the right thing, but we're just randomly doing stuff so I can show you how this works. I'm going to click OK. We're not finished again. Remember, we have to click Run for this change to be committed, for this change to actually go ahead and happen. Now, once I click Run, keep an eye on here. It's going to pop up either above or below Table Customer. When I click Run, I'm going to click Yes here. Still keep an eye over this side here. There we go. So now we have TBL Customer and TBL Ticket. And I didn't have to type out all that information again. It's very quick once you know how to do it. So rather than typing everything out again, use this method if it makes sense for you to do. If not, obviously, please skip it.